Welcome to your daily practice. Today we're gonna to get started on our backs with some glute bridges. So bring those feet flat on the mat. Your hands are gonna come onto your pelvis. Pointer fingers and thumbs meet together. And as you start to round up through the spine coming into your glute bridge, I want you to make sure that your fingertips are the highest point in your bridge. And the thumbs always stay underneath. Exhale, squeeze the glutes, rounding up. Find that diagonal triangle and slowly round down, warming up the spine, warming up the back of the body here, the glutes, the hamstrings. Drive those heels down into the mat and slowly round back down one vertebrae at a time. Squeezing up, make sure the chest is relaxed and all that work is coming from the glutes. Arms reach towards the sky. Let's take it into some pulses. Squeezing. Adding arm sweeps, inhale, reach back, exhale, with resistance, sweep those arms forward back towards the sky, exhale. Keep it going, rounding through the spine, and holding up back into our pulses, we're gonna reach those arms forward. Feel energy through the arms, open up the shoulders into the mat, pressing the hands firmly down to activate the triceps. Keep squeezing, and we're gonna take it into toe tap, so shifting the weight into the heels, tapping the toes, isometric hold in the glutes the whole time. Keep those hips reaching up. Tap, 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 almost there. Feet flat, let's take it back to our hip pulses and side to side. Pulse right and left, right and left. Inhale through center, exhale as you squeeze and up to side to side. Last one, bring it right back into center and I'll just shift the weight into your toes. Lift and lower the heels, up and down, up and down. Really challenge yourself as you lower the heels back down into the mat, keep those hips squeezing up high. And let's hold it back into our hip pulses. Heels are high if you can keep them up. Here to finish, last little pulses. Keep the shoulders relaxed away from your ears, squeezing those hips up. Exhale the effort and then slowly round down one vertebrae at a time. Hug those knees into your chest. We're gonna rock and roll right up into our clamshell series. So coming over onto your side, no breaks today. If you need to take one, feel free. I'm gonna keep powering through this. So keeping the toes together, opening up that knee towards the sky, rotating from the back of the hip, and that top arm can be down onto the mat or a little bit more challenging, hand behind the head like I'm doing, really lifting up out of the shoulders, engaging through the waist, pulling that navel in towards the spine. Tapping the knees together, tapping the toes together. Holding those toes together in that clamshell to start to pulse it back. Really visualize the panty line here, the back panty line, squeezing, carving it out. Squeeze, squeeze, and extending that leg, you're gonna tap the knee straight down towards the mat. Extend and tap down, extend and tap down. Reaching out of the hip, get that leg as long as you can. And then with that inward rotation, try to tap the knee all the way towards the mat. Keep lifting up out of the chest so the neck stays long, abs are engaged, lifting that rib cage up away from the mat. Always remembering to keep the breath flowing just like the body. And we're gonna add an extension to our clamshell now. So going back, toes together, extend that toe up towards the sky, reaching the leg long. Up, extend, in and lower. Squeezing again from the back side of the seat. Extend, in and lower. Open, up, in and lower. 
And if you need to go a little bit slower, feel free. We're gonna grab that top leg as high as you can. Bottom leg extends and then getting into those inner thighs. Of course, still working the powerhouse here, really engaging the abs to help lift that leg up as high as you can. And keeping the legs as straight as you can, but if they need to bend, no worries. Work with bent legs. Maybe releasing the top hand here. And then we're gonna work both legs together. Exhale as you lift, clammy shell the whole body together now. And really rock back onto the meaty part of the glute here so we're not right on our side. We're hinged back. Exhale and lift up to the top. Pulse it to finish. Small, keep pulling those abs back and back. Squeeze. Almost there, we're gonna take this all the way down to our side, a little bit smaller. Now I want you to really rotate directly onto your side. The legs can move a little bit forward or back here depending on your comfort comfortability in your hip. So make sure that that hip bone isn't digging down in towards the mat. And holding the lift, just start to flutter those legs. Small, keeping the abs really strong, maybe working the balance, that top arm comes up. Really challenging here. Breathing through it. And knee pulls into the chest. We're gonna keep that hover. So the bottom thigh, try to hover it off the mat the entire time. Legs squeeze together like you just got one of them. And initiate the movement from the abdominals. Abs pull back as the knees pull high. In and really stretch that body. Final move, we're back up. Gave the shoulder a little bit of a break. We're back up on our forearm and adding that extension straight out in front of you. Open, extend, bend, and in. Wearing out those hips and thighs. Keeping the hips stacked, right? Imagine there's a wall right behind you. So that top hip is right on line over the bottom hip as we start to take those pulses, reaching through the heel. Feel the energy through the back of the leg, reaching out through the heel, toes pull back towards the shin. Bend and press. Little bend here, big stretch. Remember the work is in the stretch. So spend more time in the extension. Keeping that top hip driving forward, abs pulling back. And we're gonna take it back to a lift. We're gonna go one more set. Lift, then stretch, and then we'll be done with this side. So really fight for it. Rotate that heel up, keep lifting up out of the shoulders, keeping those abs strong. Burning out that booty. And then stretch, finish it off. Keep reaching, keep reaching that hip forward, lengthening the leg as long as you can. Reach. Yes, I'm feeling it right about now and relax. We're gonna come straight down, let the legs relax. We got some tricep extensions here. So bottom hand wraps around your waist and then only bend as far as you can come back up. So right, think a smaller bend and it's really about that exhale to push the floor away. Relaxing the legs as much as you can. And hold it down, little pulses here. Fight for it, fight for it. Keep those abs strong. Push and push. Pulse, pulse, and come on up. Good job. Take it onto your back, hugging the knees into your chest. Legs are gonna go straight up. We got an inner thigh series before we take it to the other side. So start to crisscross those ankles. Spine is long and relaxed. We can let the shoulders just go for the next little bit. Focus on the abdominal staying strong and those legs staying as long as you can get them. Inhale, lower the legs down and exhale, lift the legs back up as you keep crisscrossing, right? Those heels are coming in towards the midline, in towards your center line. Exhale and lift. Tailbone stays on the mat here, right? We wanna keep that spine long in a strong, neutral position. Reaching through the front of the hips, inhale down. 
and hold down. Keep criss crossing only as low as you can maintain that neutral spine. Remember, so important to keep the navel pulling in and not put any pressure on that low back. Bring those legs right back up towards the sky, towards the ceiling, and I just want you to tap your heels now. Heels together, toes apart, and then gradually, slowly, just start to lower down a few inches. Maybe a little bit lower. Keep tapping those heels. Good, and holding as low as you can. Exhale, curl round up, chin to chest. Energy through those arms and fingertips. Keep beating those heels. Breathing into it, going right into our frogs. Hands come wide behind the head, let the neck relax. Flexing the feet, exhale, engage the inner thighs as you press the bottoms of the feet forward. And then we'll add a little hip lift here. So think the lower four vertebrae of the spine, they come up off the mat, engaging those low abs down. Scoop and reach. Exhale to deepen the contraction in the abdominals. Inhale, lengthen the legs. Scissors, we're gonna switch those legs, keep curling up, eyes towards your belly or towards your thighs. Working the legs as long as you can, grab on wherever you can. And this one too, I want the, the tailbone really anchored in towards the mat so the hips aren't rocking around, it's all leg. Grabbing onto one leg, opposite leg lifts and lowers. And so the ankles cross at the top. If the knees need to be slightly bent, that is totally okay. Swap your legs, keep going. Squeeze those inner thighs, cross your ankles. Inhale, lower, exhale, lift. And hands come back behind your head. Let's take it back to that crisscross. Reaching down on the diagonal. Crisscross, crisscross, keep that scoop. If it's too much with the head up, you can always take the head back down onto the mat. And we're pulling up into our teaser. Hello, here we go. Second side, let's do this. Keep moving. If you need to pause, pause, and then join back in. So we're taking this all the way from the top, heels, toes together, knees together. Rotate from the hip. Always working our posture and our powerhouse, right? Those are always constants, wherever we are, whatever we're doing, all right? Giving full attention to the whole body. Keep lifting up out of that bottom shoulder and hip. Maybe top hand can come behind the head, right? Always remembering to challenge yourself. Get out of that comfort zone a little bit more than you want to. That's where that change really is. Just that extra inch, that extra stretch. Taking it in to our pulses next. Holding that knee up and just squeezing from the back of the seat. Rotating that knee towards the sky. Our pulse and pulse. Back and back as still as you can in the hips and shoulders, and let's go for our extension. Tap the knee and extend out. Almost like someone is pulling on your ankle to lengthen that leg out of your hip and even lengthen the waist. Inhale and tap. Scooping the belly back, right? Always maintaining that hollowed out feeling in the abdominals. And taking it back to our clamshell. Open, extend, bend, and lower. Still working that outer thigh, trying to draw the shoulders away from your ears, lifting up out of the bottom ribs, and especially that shoulder. Extending tall towards the sky, just lightly touch the toes together. Nice, grabbing onto that top ankle, extend your bottom leg along. We got some inner thigh leg lifts. Squeezing that inner thigh, bottom leg lifts up. Grabbing on the top leg as high as you can. If you can't get the top leg straight, it's fine to have a little bend in the knee here. Work with wherever you are. And then releasing the hand, both legs lower and lift together. Right, so now again, we're working those inner thighs. We're also working the core, the powerhouse, the obliques. Staying strong in your posture. Mm -hmm. 
and exhale as you bring the body together, holding up, take it into little pulses, pulling the abs back. Keep breathing, keep lifting, almost out of this one. And relax all the way down onto your side. Finally, give that shoulder a little break. We're gonna keep the legs working though. Exhaling, lifting the legs and gently lower down. So try to keep those legs squeezing together. Relaxing the shoulders, try not to take the tension into the shoulders and neck here. Holding the lift, start to flutter the legs forward and back. And if you want a balance challenge, maybe that top hand comes to rest on your top thigh. Keep the hip stacked and those shoulders stacked. Nice work, knee pulls, bring that hand back down. Our knees pull all the way up to the forearm. Abdominals pull back away from your thighs. And try and keep that bottom thigh hovering off the mat as we do these knee pulls. Nice, keeping the legs forward. We're gonna uh, come back onto our forearm for this one. Last section here with this leg. So working parallel, open, extend, bend, and lower. If your shoulder or neck is kind of tired and burnt out here, you can always come down head in hand. But while we're here, we might as well work those obliques, keeping the leg straight, flexing the foot, and just taking the little pulses. So think the heel is a little bit higher than your toes. Working that outer thigh. Feel energy through the heel. Leg is long and push it out. Little bend, big push. Bend, stretch. Exhale as you extend and pull the belly back away from your toes. I know that outer thigh is really starting to burn at this point. We got one more set. Take it back to your lifts. Don't be afraid to smile, I'm feeling it too. Hold the lift back to your bend stretch. Squeeze it out, think that leg gets a little bit longer each time. Almost there, and drop it down, good, pat it out. Okay, let's go right into some tricep uh, work here. So that top arm is gonna bend and press you up. Only bend as far as you can control the lift back up. Yeah, the bottom arm wraps around your waist just to get it out of the way. Try to relax the legs as much as you can. And then hold down, pulse it out for six. And break, good job coming back onto all fours, we're gonna take it into our donkey kicks. Let the shoulders relax. Keep the abdominals scooping and lifting away from your mat, right? This is not uh, an exercise for the back, it's for the butt and hamstring. Strong flex in that foot, drive the heel up towards the sky. Holding that up, little pulses. And just notice what's happening in the neck and shoulders here, right? No tension, shoulders drawing away from your ears. Big circles wrapping all the way around. Really draw the circle with the knee. Keeping the hips square towards the floor. And reverse that direction all the way around. Big as you can, right? Really opening up space in the hip socket here. Breathe into it. Holding to the side, we got hydrants. Knee is right in line with your standing knee. And think here, when you lift for your hydrant, you want your knee to be a little bit higher than your foot. Just that intention is really going to intensify the exercise. 
If you want to come up onto your right hand here, feel free. Whatever is most comfortable in your upper body. Holding the lift and just pulse. Again, squeezing, carving out that panty line area. Holding the knee high, we're going to take it into those punch backs. So pressing the heel all the way back and then drive the knee towards the front shoulder. Inhale, exhale, lengthen. Again, belly stays lifted, hollowed out, navel into the spine. Squeeze, 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 point the toes, little circles to the back here. So imagine you're drawing circles with your big toe on a wall behind you. Reach for that wall and reverse. Nice work. Step all the way through. Find a lunge. Whew. Make sure the front knee is on top of the front ankle. Open it up here for our lizard lunge. You can tuck your back toes. Just breathe. And then step back into your plank. Same leg. Open to the side and open towards the ceiling. So we're crossing the ankle. Side, cross, lift, cross. Side, cross, lift, cross. You can also do this on your forearms if you have any trouble with your wrists or shoulders. Taking it back into your downward facing dog. Just breathe here. And come on down onto all fours. I'm just switching angles so you can see the other leg. We're doing donkey kicks. Let's go. Second side. Left leg kicking up. Keep those abs strong. Drive the heel towards the sky. Right? Again, create that resistance. Maybe you have ankle weights on. Maybe you don't. Whatever you're working with, really try to pass that comfort zone, right? Find a new feeling, a new sensation, a new inch, right? That new movement, changing for the better, little pulses, driving that heel up. And then into our really big circles here. Draw the knee all the way down, circle out and around. Really waking up the hips. And reverse that direction back and around. Knee pulls high to the side and then lowers, right? Try to keep that lift as you take it around to the side. Good, hold it to the side. Here we go, we got hydrants up and down. Control both directions, the lift and the lower. And be really mindful to stay lifted on your standing hip as well, right? So both sides of the body are working here. Holding the lift, take it into those pulses. Squeezing right at your edge, up and up. And we're going to punch that heel back. Pull the knee in towards the shoulder. Reach and crunch. And so we're working those obliques and then lengthening the torso all the way into the leg. Each time, reach back. Waist is pulling in 360 degrees, right? All the way around. Almost there. We're going to hold. Taking it into our circles next. Around. Reaching that leg as long as you can. Point through your toes. Feel long through the back of your knee, through the front of your ankle. We're extending through the joints. Reversing your circle. 
and step through, find your lunge. Breathe into it here. Coming into your open lunge, whatever feels good. Maybe tucking your back toes. Maybe add in a little twist, right? Just breathe, send the breath down to those hips and get ready, step back into your plank. Other side, we lift and open. So the ankles are crossed, take it out and up, out and up. Feel really tight through the powerhouse here. Up, open and lift and exhale back into your down dog. Good, give your head a little shake, yes and no. And let's drop down to those knees. We're just gonna hover an inch off the mat. Inhale, find the tabletop hover, exhale back into your down dog. <sighs> Moving that whole body together, holding down. And we're gonna kick one leg back at a time. So as much as you can, shoulders are over your wrist, hips are over your knees. And if you need to modify this, lower the knee down. Otherwise, stay strong. Take it into those pulses, reaching out through your heel. Squeeze, squeeze. Switch the weight, transfer the weight into the other leg and pulsing up. I know this is a really challenging one to keep that knee hovering. Hold on to it and gently come down. Ah, oh, what we've all been waiting for, that child's pose. Knees nice and wide, send the breath to the low back, to the hips and glutes. Okay, we're gonna stay on our knees. Knees a little bit wider than your hips. Just bring your hands into prayer right at the center of your chest. And we're gonna start to work the glutes and front of the thigh muscles here. So hips are just hovering two inches off your heels. And then scooping the abs under. And we take it into a side to side action, right? Left, side to side. The trick is to really just hover the heels off the hips and keep the chest as lifted as you can. It, there is a slight hinge forward here. Back to center, keep scooping the abs and we're gonna circle it around. Really go for it here, drawing the circle with the pelvis, reverse that circle, keep hovering. arms forward and big glute squeeze as we press all the way up length in the front of the body at the top Whew, should feel like a relief take it into a little twist action exhale inhale exhale squeeze center squeeze center shoulders down the back back into center open the chest chest expansion with the upper body so the collarbone is wide Right, let those lungs work, do what they're meant to do. Almost there, almost there. Yes, last push, hover, 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 and scoop. 10, seven, six, five, whoo, I'm feeling it. Last three, two, one, and done. Those get me every time, but I love this stretch afterwards. Knees, mat distance, just come back down. To your elbows if you can, you might have to stay up on your hands. Keep the knees pressing in towards the mat, a little spine twist, reaching up and back. Inhale, exhale into your twist. Good, back into center. You can let your head drop back here for a moment. And then gently make your way up. And we're gonna round down onto our back, feet flat. Lift your hips up really high, so not like a normal glute bridge, a little bit higher into a shoulder bridge, so you can even puff out the chest here. Clasping your hands underneath you, slide the shoulders a little bit further underneath you so you can get more height. And you just feel that length in the front of the body. Maybe hands can assist the hips underneath you. Whatever feels good. And then when you're ready, lower down. And hug your knees into your chest. 
and then coming into just a single quad stretch adding that spine twist letting the hip release back and we'll switch sides lengthen the knee down and towards the mat inhale up and exhale think about pulling the arms the waist up out of the hips and draw it down let's go into a happy baby oh this is the best medicine after a serious hips and thigh workout open the legs if you want into a full straddle rock side to side single leg extensions all right just play a little bit notice what feels good in your body and then taking it into your butterfly wings and we're gonna release finish on the mat in Shavasana.